apologies. All right, hello. So I wanted to make this video because I've been playing a lot of Gundam Evolution, and while I have my favorite units like the Pell Rider, the Zaku 2, and the Unicorn, I think on Harbor Town it's a really specific kind of map, and it requires you to change up the comp you would usually run. And so on this map, I actually play Ashimar quite a lot. And I think this is definitely the choice you should probably be making if you're going to play this map on your own. So next time you're playing this map, you should probably add an Ashimar to your comp. And hopefully I can convince you throughout this video as to why it's good on this map. So uh, to start, you're going to be fighting over this first choke point right here on the hill. And um, right over here, the right part of the choke point is a bit of cover with some buildings and there's a health pack there. And so getting control of that health pack is basically the most important part of this show point. Once you control this health pack, you'll basically be able to steamroll through and take the first point. So, Achimara can use his fly ability and he can fly right over, get past the choke point. There are molly enemies who are defending the choke point and they're forced out of position. They take some damage and we're able to sort of clean up off of that. My sniper gets a kill. We sort of just steamroll through at this point. So just moving on a little bit, once we get on point, I notice that we have four on point, so I move forward. You only need three on point for max capture speed, and so once I saw there was four, I move up so I can time, try and slow enemies down and prevent them from contesting. Earlier right there, you saw me, I flew high for info, and then I napalmed the enemy that was in the front. And I'm able to fall back and recapture the point. And then the enemies just completely troll the game right here. They come forward when they don't need to. Our spawn is right there, even if they kill us. We're able to get a bunch of really early picks, and then we essentially get to bypass this next choke point right here. But I fly over like I would if they didn't troll the game. And I napalm, and we sort of just go through. They're all dead. It's like a 3v6 right now. And we're able to sort of steamroll through. Here I get picked, but luckily I get rezzed. So here, I use an Ashimaru. Um, it's not the greatest all in the game, but I have two targets right there, so it was perfect. It sort of gets the value it needs to. We're able to walk through. And even though I die here, it's okay. My team's able to walk on through. I think it's important to know that it's actually okay to die sometimes in this game. Especially when you're sort of gaining space like I did right there. We sort of go in, we're killing them up, we're cleaning up. I get killed by my hero who's like the last alive. It's no big deal. Plus, I'm able to fly back really quickly because I have the fly ability. See, I'm already basically back to point. All right, so now we're on the defense, and our job is to try and control this first choke point on the city outskirts. And so my teammates are here are going to peek and take a bunch of damage early for no real reason, because unlike them, I don't peek this because they're able to peek us from spawn and do damage, which we can't really stop. See the enemy sitting in spawn? We couldn't actually hurt that. He's just in spawn. So when my teammate pings the tunnel over here, I come over and I try and help. My napalm actually blocks off the entire thing. So I'm able to come over, stop their advance, split them up, and I end up getting both kills. Now what happened here, and I didn't notice, is that my team kind of got pushed off, died, and fell back. And I was still standing up, so what happens here is I actually end up getting crunched from both sides. You see, all we have left is a Methus and a Barbados. They can't really help me when I get crunched here, so I end up going down here. And then we end up losing this first point, unfortunately. So now we're defending the second choke point, and I'm going to show you sort of why my Napalm is so strong on Ashimar, and why it's really great for defending the second choke point. So he's trying to bypass the choke point, but we sort of stop him in his tracks. And then they're able to fly over above, see where the enemies are, and then I nade behind. And that sort of completely kills the sort of aggression right there at the start. Like I said, your ult's on the strongest, so if you see a good value opportunity, you just sort of do it. It's no big deal. Um, this health pack on the right here is really strong. It's really great for you when you're playing Ashima. So one thing people don't do enough in this game is stagger. People are incredibly impatient in this game and they don't work well as a team. So if you're able to stagger like we did just there, it's going to really slow down their push. So we end up losing the checkpoint there and they start trying to advance onto point. So here, I think it's really important to contest for the health packs. Um, essentially, whoever gets the health pack is probably going to win the fight unless someone uses an ult, which is what happened there. They use an ult on me. 
So it's really important when you're in fights like that, you try and contest the health back and you try and get it before they can. Um, here I'm in a horrible position, so I'm able to use my fly ability, get out, reposition, use my napalm. Also, if you can, like I did right there, stand in front of your teammates who are downed and getting rezzed, so that way you're taking shots instead of them. If you lose 300 health, it's no big deal, but if they lose 300 health, they have to respawn, and that's going to take 15, 20 seconds before they get back to the fight. Again, notice the position of my napalm here. The Barbados comes forward, but then I napalm behind him, and so his other teammates, this Exia and the Pell Rider or Sniper, I believe, back there, they can't actually advance and help out the rest of the team. So we're able to sort of clean up people who got the route, while the other two are afraid and can't really advance. Like I said, this right health pack, super valuable. Also, our Methus doing a great job at healing me here helps a lot too. So I'm just going to show you why it's really important you play that choke and you don't get overly aggressive and cocky. So right here, we're feeling ourselves, we're pushing up, we've like team wiped them how many times now? Barbados goes down, oh no, Gundam goes down, and then I go down right after. So yeah, don't do that, that was bad. So that's the video. I hope these tips helped, and I hope I was able to convince you to run Ashramar in your team comp next time you're playing on Harbor Town. Um, if you have any tips for Ashramar or Gunnam Evolution, or you just want to comment something in general, please use the comment section down below to discuss. Um, also remember to like, subscribe, all that sort of YouTuber crap. Um, my Twitter is also going to be in the description. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.